What are team roles within an organization? Historically, research has identified team roles as either being task-oriented or simply holding a function or functionally oriented. Further research has subdivided this into task roles, social roles, and boundary spanning roles. So we'll address each of these. A task role is generally made up of one of several types. A contractor, one who organizes the process for task completion. A creator, the person who identifies the tasks themselves that need to be completed in any series of tasks that need to come together for completion purposes. Contributors offer their expertise and guidance in that process. Completers actually do it. They translate the plans or courses of action into reality and make it happen. And then critics tend to evaluate the process after the fact. They're undertaking more of that controlling function. Now, social roles tend to be focused more on how the group interacts and how they get along in the workplace. So cooperators tend to empower leaders and make certain that the individuals orchestrating tasks have the support necessary from the team. Communicators facilitate communicate communications and make certain that information is adequately transmitted to members of the team. And then calibrators make certain that all power struggles or disagreements or other misunderstandings between team members are resolved or handled appropriately. And then boundary spanning roles focus on the communication of information between the group or team and the larger organization and the team itself. So the console role will focus on this internal and external communication between the larger organization and the team. The coordinator function will focus on communications between similar teams throughout the organization to make sure everyone's working collectively together towards a common goal or purpose. So these are the general roles identified for teams within an organization.